halogia from the garden in my house. We want to, with Pastor Steve, say Happy Easter, have a blessed Easter this weekend as we celebrate it together in family. Uh, you may not have your family with you, your family may be far away, but as the family of God, we are united in the Spirit of God and we are together. And with some of the leaders, we want to say a prayer of blessing upon your life, upon your family, and upon this nation and this time and the nations where we can see so much suffering, hurt and uh, death and pain, but we thank God that God sent Jesus to die on a cross to take away all of the sins of the world, the pain, the shame, the guiltiness, and to give us life so that we will not die, but that we will live and declare the works of the Lord. In Isaiah 60, uh, go here a few verses that says, Arise, shine, for your light has come. When Jesus came into this earth to die that cruel death on the cross, and this is what we, we are celebrating Easter, the real meaning of this is Jesus remembering what Jesus did on that cross. For us born again believers, not only in Easter time, but every time we have communion, every time we wake up, we remember what our Lord Jesus did for us and the life that we now have in Him. And that light, He was the light and He came to the world to bring us into that light, to take us away from the darkness of sin. Sin may have a pleasure temporarily, but the, but the wages, the payment of that sin is death. Jesus wants to bring life. He does not want us to remain in sin. He do doesn't want us to live in sin and then die for eternity and be condemned. He came to give us life. And do you know that when He died on that cross, He took our punishment in our place. If we accept the sacrifice of Jesus, if we repent of sin, and if we believe and put our trust in Him, He's able to give us a new life, a new heart, a new nature, a new way of living where sin has no part in us. Because now we choose Him. And here says, the light came, Jesus was the light. But now in here is saying that when we are born again and accept Jesus, the light, light comes into our hearts. You know that beautiful hymn, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. I was blind, now I see. Light came to that sinner. Recognize the grace of God. And light can come to any person that puts their trust in Jesus, repents of the sins, and, uh, and begins to live for Him. It's only by faith. It's a gift. You don't have to do anything to deserve it. You just receive the life of Jesus. Then the Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth. So, beloved, we can rise up we can shine the glory of Jesus. Because the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Jesus died, but at the third day, He resurrected from the dead. He's not dead anymore. He came back to life. His resurrection was saying with His resurrection that our our, his, his life as an offering for our sins was accepted by the Father. So, because of that, we can now have life and access to the very throne of God. Oh, wow, that makes me so happy. And behold, the darkness. This 
is what Isaiah 60 said. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. This is what happens when people don't have God, when don't seek God first, when they prefer sin than living a life for God, when they don't put their trust in God. It can, when they remove uh, God from schools, from society, from prisons, when they don't want to listen to the Word of God, darkness will come. God is light, but if God is not allowed, darkness will cover the earth and this is what we are seeing right now at the end of uh, at the beginning of the end of times that darkness is covering the earth suffering so much horrible things happening around us deep darkness the people covers the earth but the Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you when you have Christ when the light of Jesus of his life come into your heart his light illuminates all darkness and you can read the whole Isaiah 60 because that will bless you the Gentiles people who are not saved they will come to your light. I, they, as they see you living for Christ, they want to come. They want to come and say, I want that light. And the kings to the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around and see. And of course, this is Jesus who is the light. Um, lift up your eyes all around, around and see. They all gather together, they come to you, to you. Your sons will come from afar and your daughters shall be nursed at your side. We are the children of God. We have come to that light and there are so many yet to come. Then you shall see and become radiant and your heart shall swell with joy because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you the wealth of gentiles shall come to you wow amazing um uh, what the prophet isaiah said here i would encourage you this easter time as we celebrate the resurrection of jesus be blessed do not um, be downcast do not be depressed do not have fear, but embrace that light that is in you, that is shining through the Lord. And here are uh, uh, some of the leaders that want to speak a blessing over your life. And, and Pastor Steve and myself want to really uh, declare over your lives that you are covered with the blood of Jesus no evil will come near you the holy spirit is your helper and he will guide you the, the blood of jesus has been shed on that cross and it's your protection so a lot of blessings and here receive the blessing of the lord hi friends good afternoon this is a beautiful privilege for me to pray for you I hope that the Lord will bless you and touch you in every circumstances that you have. But first, let me encourage you with the word of God. He said in John chapter 14 verses 27, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. That is such a powerful verse. I hope that you would choose faith over fear. The Lord sees your circumstances. The Lord hears your prayers. Fix your eyes on Jesus. He is the perfecter of our faith. Thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, for the peace that you have given us right now. Thank you, Father God, for you have not given us the, the power of fear, the troubled heart, Father, of being afraid, Father, because you have overcome the world.
Thank you, Jesus, for being with us and for hearing our prayers right now. That I pray, Father, you would touch each and every one who's listening right now in this prayer. In Jesus' name. Pray, Father God, for our nation today as we are spending more times in our homes uh, in isolation on this special day when the scripture John 3.16 was fulfilled for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. I pray, Father God, for a peace that they don't know and a desire and a hunger and a yearning to truly come to know you and find you in this season. We pray in Jesus' name for everyone watching, Lord. We pray that they will be saved, that their family will be saved, that their friends will be saved, Lord. And thank you, Lord, that you've called us to repentance, Father. And right now we repent from any wrongdoings, Lord, and we turn from our wicked ways, Lord. And just thank you, Lord, that you are Lord, that you died and rose again, Lord, and we're covered by your blood, that we will be Easter, saved. Easter, we pray blessing and health and healing on everybody Amen. and on their families. And we pray, Lord, that your will be done on this earth. As it is in heaven, thank you, Lord Jesus, that your will is only for good. Father, I pray in this time of Easter that we as a church, Lord, the Church of Jesus Christ, will know and remember that Easter is all about the cross of Jesus Christ. It is all about the death, burial and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. That we would know the power of the blood of Jesus and the power of his body broken for us. That there is healing, deliverance and forgiveness of sin in the cross of Jesus, and we'll proclaim your death and resurrection until you come again, Lord. Friends, I pray that God will bless you with the strength you need to go through this difficult situation. May God be gracious to you, bless you, and shine his face upon you. I pray that God will meet all your needs according to the riches of the glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 A big amen and amen.